Hi guys, Mike here. This is for Bush Class USA outing number two. And uh, hope to, to get out here and enjoy a little sunshine. And uh, it's a beautiful day, slight breeze. Um, it's about 23 degrees. And uh, so uh, I'll try to get a few things done. But uh, come along on the adventure. We got about four inches of snow here, so cross country skiers have been out and enjoying it. And uh, God, it's a beautiful day. Don't want to mess up their tracks here, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to get out in the woods and see what we can do. Out of valley. Amazing. You see all the way down there. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. This is the Miniopa Creek Valley area down here. And, uh, Absolutely gorgeous this time of year. A lot of activity down there. Maybe we'll get down there later. All right, keep moving. Looks like he's looking right at me beautiful sight on a beautiful day. Hope you enjoyed that guys. down in the valley and in the woods. It's real easy to get kind of turned around in environments like this. As you can kind of see, it looks the same in just about every direction. But uh, I know for a fact that there's a stream right over here and I'm going to follow it down to the river and uh, I'm going to enjoy some of the other things uh, in here. Uh, particularly, there's a lot of deer sign, and uh, maybe we'll see some today. Here's kind of an example right here. So, and it's uh, fairly wet and fairly fresh, and uh, there's tracks all over the place here. So, all right. Well, I'm returning to a debris shelter uh, lean-to that I built earlier in the year, and I'm gonna see how it's uh, fared during the winter. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get going here. Well, there's the lean-to shelter. And it uh, doesn't look like it's been destroyed, but it is lacking a little bit of coverage. And that's the way it is sometimes. The environment takes its toll. Well, let's get a fire going and make a camp and get some water on the boil and uh, have something to drink at least. Yeah.
<laughs> it has done a little settling. Oh, a couple pieces are here. Well, that's kind of nice. I still got a pile of wood. So maybe we'll take advantage of that. I think this is kind of interesting. I I found a note on some birch bark inside my uh, debris shelter here, just hanging in the in the cross numbers there. It says if you want to practice primitive skills uh, and survival with me, email, and then it gives his email address. He says I went to Tom Brown Jr.'s tracker school. Yeah. Interesting. Well, anyway, uh, we'll have to hang on to that. <laughs> we'll see what comes of it. But uh, somebody found the site and uh, apparently uh, decided to leave me a message. All right. So on, a, so on a previous adventure, uh, I made some uh, charred cloth in my uh, little charred cloth uh, tin, and, uh, and so here's a lot of that. And uh, today we're going to start fire using uh, improvised uh, steel. Uh, many will recognize it as just a piece of an old file, and uh, I've got some pieces of flint that uh, have some pretty sharp edges on it and seem to give me some good spark. We'll use a little bit of a bird's nest of uh, jute twine uh, that's just been kind of unraveled. And so uh, that's how we're going to start fire today, is uh, with the uh, improvised uh, steel and uh, striker <laughs> and some charred cloth. So, all right, let's give it a go. fire going here real good. Water on the boil and uh, improvised pot hook or pot hanger. Realized after previewing the last piece of video that the flint and steel fire start might not have been real clear but uh, that's what we used along with some charred cloth and some jute twine and some birch bark uh, tinder. Worked real good. Anyway, uh, a little more after this.
on an old uh, fallen tree here and uh, got some real punky wood as part of it. So I'm going to uh, harvest some of this, take it with me, and uh, take it home and char it up. Be good, uh, good to get in the kit. Charred natural punk wood. Looks like that'll do. It's just practically, it's just really lightweight. <laughs> punk wood, <it's> amazing. <laughs> Lights real good too, even as it is. Got my fire. Got some tea. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. It is so quiet out here today. Heard a couple of owls, a couple of crows. I haven't seen any deer yet, but uh, still got a little time. Well, bush class, USA, outing number two so far. Pretty good success. Happy with my fire starting. Um, especially with these conditions, <laughs> but uh, it's warmed up a little bit and there's little to no breeze at all, so that really kind of helps. And uh, trying to find natural tinders around here are a little difficult, though I am kind of happy with the harvest of the punk wood, so we'll bring that out of here and, uh, and cook that up for another time. Give that a try. Anyway. Gotta look at getting out of here pretty soon. Kinda run out of time, so. Here's the Bushcraft USA. <laughs> Great classes too. Awesome. You gotta do this. Take this online bushcraft course. And, and uh, I guess I could take this opportunity to thank Terry and Sergeant Mack and all the guys at Bush Class USA uh, for every adventure, every outing. Um, they do a great job keeping track of us and keeping us keeping us going and inspiring us. So, yep. good time. Here's to the mentors. Got a very distinct game trail right there over kind of a simple ice bridge. A beautiful day.